saying no to styrofoam. Citing health and environmental risks, styrofoam is no longer allowed at Amherst eateries. One of our regular reports on how to have a healthy life and Deborah Roberts on the big enemy that might be right where you are. And then styrofoam cups holding our hot coffee. Are the chemicals leaking into the liquid as some studies say? If you like ordering hot takeout from a Minneapolis restaurant, you might just find something that will leave you a little cold. The city council is considering a proposal to tighten a pollution ordinance that would essentially ban styrofoam containers. First term council member Andrew Johnson says polyesterine clamshells and cups are difficult to recycle and they can even pose a health threat. Johnson says Minneapolis is simply doing what a hundred other cities already have. Unsettling news today about a product in our daily lives. The government says that a chemical used to make styrofoam coffee cups and takeout containers and insulate homes could possibly cause cancer. We wanted to know more. Jim Avila has a reality check. They are everywhere and last forever. The infamous styrofoam cups with a garbage dump half-life of 500 years now possibly linked to cancer risks. The National Institutes of Health said today there is mounting evidence that styrene, a component of that little white cup, may cause leukemia and lymphomas. In fact, Dr. Philip Blandrigan at Mount Sinai School of Medicine in New York says he would advise pregnant women and small children to switch to glass and ceramic. As a pediatrician, um, I'm in the business of urging caution, and I think this is a case where it's reasonable to urge caution even while the data are incomplete. So what does this mean for my coffee cup? Should I stop drinking from styrofoam? The makers of styrofoam said today's announcement is completely unjustified by the latest science. But the government says animal testing suggests a cancer link. And when new studies are complete, the government anticipates styrene will be listed as a human carcinogen. The doctors we talked to gave a qualified yes, avoid styrofoam cups. Could hot drinks be more dangerous than cold in styrofoam? It's possible because a study has shown heat can cause more leaching of the chemicals into a drink. So why is the government telling me this? Dr. Landrigan again. It makes sense for people in their personal lives to minimize their exposure. So for now, it's coffee with care. Jim Avila, ABC News, New York. on Miami Beach will soon be a thing of the past. Hundreds of businesses, especially restaurants, will now have to do away with their styrofoam for things like drinks and takeout orders after a city ordinance was passed today. Local 10 News reporter Roger Losey joining us live now to fill us in on the details on this. Roger. Calvin, New York City, Washington, D.C., San Francisco, some of the major metropolitan areas around our country that have already banned styrofoam. Miami Beach is the first in Florida to take this stuff off the streets. Over the past few years, New York has said goodbye to a number of things. Well, now Bloomby is pushing another ban, looking to abolish something that is universally known to be hazardous to your health. Styrofoam, a closed cell extruded polystene foam currently made for thermal insulation. But due to the environmental repercussions, Mayor Bloomberg is pushing to ban the use of styrofoam in New York. <laughs> this means no more cups, no more crates, no more sheets, containers, balls, blocks, coolers, rings, and most of all, no more packing peanuts. <laughs> Councilman Jim Kraft has proposed a bill that would ban the use of styrofoam cups and containers at city restaurants that have carryout. New at 5, 70 is asking questions about an idea to ban styrofoam type products in the city of Boulder. The town of Amherst just put their ban on styrofoam into effect. 22 News reporter Matt Karen joins us live from our Hampshire County Bureau tonight. To explain how some business owners feel about it. Amherst joins Great Barrington, Brookline, and a handful of other cities and towns to ban polystyrene or styrofoam containers. The ban was approved in Amherst about a year ago, but just took effect on the first of the year. 